Yeah. This is tree hi um cindy this is my neighbor the one i told you about who was born into an elite illuminati family and was used in child pornography and raised um as one of the illuminati sex slaves like arizona wilder kathy o'brien trinity shara trinity Mar um and so this is cindy she was uh, her birth certificate, she has a 1961 birth certificate and a 1962 birth certificate. She's had several different names. They've changed her names and throughout her life. Um, her children um, have been breeders. Her children have been breeders. One of her daughters, 10 babies, 11 babies. They let her keep the 11th one. But they've used them. Um, so her family, she's, she got out um, with her sanity and she got out with her life and um, She's got Jesus all over her apartment and pictures of Jesus. She loves Jesus and her heart is, she made it out. She's going to tell her story right now. Be prepared. This is very graphic and just be prepared. And, you know, so viewer discretion is advised. Um, she's never been on film before, but, so I would introduce your name, but your names have been? Cindy. Cynthia. No, your last name is Hey, born. I think I was born Gloria Louise Mariano. Then I was Gloria Louise Hubble. Then I became Cynthia Louise Thompson, Cindy Lou Martin, Cynthia Shipman. And Tripper, did you say Tripper? And then Hernandez Moya, Tripper Diamond. Jughead, um, Jughead for a last name? No, no, first name. Really? Mm -hmm. A legal one on a birth certificate? Or on a, on a, to be called. Um, she's going to start telling you about when she, and your mother's name was, she's not sure if it's her real mother or not, um, and she was, said she, they said they bought you for $25,000. Well, start. You were telling how you were not a normal. You were born sick or something. I was born with syphilis, and I was deformed because she um, was a prostitute in Long Beach. Uh, slept as almost every sailor that sailed the seas. Is this the mother that abused you, or the one that sold you? Uh, both. Or are you not sure? No, okay. I'm pretty sure she was the one. Okay, so um, you were born in the. Your father was not sure if he was your real father, but he um, had took care of you anyway. He just said he was your father because you needed one. Yes. And then he was a good man. And your mother, he married a rich woman and left you with her. Is who the woman who brought you up, right? Mm -hmm. And her name was Barbara Higley or Barbara Martin. I'm not sure. Um, she was made to to raise me. She was forced to raise me. And she raised you, how How did it start? When you were a little girl, your room, you were telling me about your room, your bedroom? All I remember is I never got held. No, you told me your room, you didn't have anything in your room, no color, no, no we're starting, start. no, we're starting, oh, you're going back to the baby, okay, sorry. It's your story, I'm sorry, it's your story, I'll okay. let you tell no, me. No, you helped me, it's, it was a dark green room, no windows. At least if there was, they were covered over. I had no toys, no books, um, no nothing bed. the regular child would have. Did you have bed. a bed or did you have a bed or blanket? I don't remember a bed or a blanket. And I don't remember. Did you have a, a bathroom? No, I had a like a tin can with a lid that she would come in and empty whenever she felt like it, which sometimes was. I mean, it should have already been emptied, maybe. Oh, it, she would leave it in there too long sometimes to where it would stink up your room? Yes. It was disgusting. And you told me earlier that she did daily, she planned out daily rituals for you? Yes. Then uh, my closet, what was supposed to be my closet, she had made into a room where she would do black magic Try or to something. talk louder. And she would tell me things that were going to happen to me. And if I ever disobeyed her or didn't do what I was commanded to do, 
these things would happen and most of them would come true that's what was so scary about it is that if I disobeyed or I tried to run away or tried to tell anybody well, I was punished severely um, so you were you in this room all the time like I, I mean they never let you out of the room ever except she let me out right before my father would come home from work and have me all dressed all pretty in lacy clothes and fancy and and act like she'd been with me all day long. Oh, look at how pretty Cindy is today. Like the movie Sybil, like how the dad came home and, mm -hmm. and didn't know that his daughter was hanging up in, by in the attic and stuff upside down. He had no idea. But he was still the one that left you with her, didn't he, to marry a rich woman with the oil company? So he was part of it. He was just a nicer one, right? I mean, he was yeah. not, like, separate from He was part of it, but he was just a nicer, gentler one. He wasn't as sadistic. Yeah. He couldn't handle it, so he What was his name? Know. His name was William R. Thompson. He was an Italian. And what are your grandma and grandpa? They were my step. What was their names? Uh, okay, my step dad's name was Paul Martin. His dad, my grandpa's name was Ed Martin. And my grandma's, or step grandma's name was Sally Del Martin. And they were like from Kentucky. They're all old people. And they loved me a lot. Did they? Do they still have sex with you, though? No, they didn't. But do they watch when... when do they even know about it? No. But their son was in... Your dad was into it with your mom, but the grandparents weren't? Mm-mm. Um, okay, so now tell me more about your room. Like, when you were a little girl, your room, you... Nothing in it? Just... Would not Nothing? It, nothing in it at all? No. But what did your dad say when he came home and saw that your room was like that? You know, he'd be fixed up. She'd have it looking normal, or she would just say, Oh, well, she made a mess in there today, so I haven't cleaned it up yet. He, so did, he didn't always look either? No. No. He was too busy. So, basically, his guilt, because of his guilt, he couldn't handle watching you be abused, so he left you with her. Yeah raise because he knew that it was going to happen no matter what that he couldn't get out of it because he already got paid right yeah and so he left you with her and then when you were at so let's go back to after he was gone when you were left with just her what happened a lot of times she didn't want me she was too busy she had things on her mind like money jewelry so she would take me out and introduce me to different men where are the braces the brace and uh, stomach brace Oh, yeah, before that, I had to be corrected. Right? I'm reminding her of, like, she's already told me this story earlier, and we tried to film it, but it got deleted, so I'm just trying to remind her and help her along, so I'm not trying to steal the story, you guys, or telling her what her story is. I'm just trying to help her remember what she told me earlier, because it was really intense. I had to be perfect, and I wasn't. So I had braces on my teeth. They broke my legs and put braces on, and I wore fur three or four years. My feet were corrected. My back, I wore boards for hours during the day. I had books strapped on my head and if I would drop one off, I'd be hit with it for oh. feet and had to walk for longer periods of time at balancing the book on my head. You gotta stop and start over. Okay, this is part one. We're going to be right back with part two because my video has been cutting off after. So, yeah. we'll be part one right now.